Yeah. 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 They're pretty deformed. They're, how would you say deformed? Well, I don't know. Well, they're not really deformed. Oh. You know, they're pretty. Is this really? They're kind of broken up. Yeah. Or? Yeah. Are it's these holes? Yeah. What? Are these holes. Are, are they studies that somebody's uh, doing? Someone has, really? has been out here, but unfortunately they were unable to to decide which way was up, and so they didn't uh. get much out of the results. Uh. Yeah. Uh, but oh, so they were doing paleo man yeah, or something, right? But were they, did they use chemical analysis for the different kinds of basalt? They have used chemical analysis, but that's been mostly on on the the quarry over there. Okay. Probably, if you can find fresh rocks in here, and you can you can find there's some some green things down there. You can find stuff. But there's no nobody's been able to correlate any. Uh, uh, age differences with the different no with composition stuff. not okay. yeah. Yeah. these are the, the pillow lavas we don't know the age huh. the, the, the age determinations have all been made on on, on zircon from from the the intrusive rock and those generally tend to be 156 to 160 million years in age for Jurassic so, but I think the pillow lavas and, and the volcanic plastics may be slightly older. And therein lies my story. Collided, when, they, when they collided, they, right. That's yeah. the age you're talking about. Or is no, that the formation? The formation. The formation. So yeah. when did they collide? When did they collide? Um, about, about 160. Is One second. You were telling me the age of yeah. that. Was yeah. <laughs> the age, it, it, right after, right after right formation. After that's correct. It's really near to the to the subduction zone. Probably was. You know, you look at you get very rapid changes in the western Pacific, and you get you get spreading centers that occur, especially when you have arc reversal. You get spreading centers that occur like former former appreciator. It really depends on the value. You know, arc collides with something, and where do you? So the subduction zone dips one direction, and it and it goes to the <laughs> Right. You see that happening in Taiwan today. You see it happening along the north coast of Australia, in Indonesia, in, in the sea, in Timor. Well, it, it's choked on the top. The continent, you have subduction zone like this. The continent's going down the subduction zone. Or the plate that's on the plate going down. The continent goes down. So it arrests the subduction. Then it, it responds isostatically, and you we had some rebound, and preserve, in doing that, you preserve a little bit of the overriding plate on top of the continent, and that's your ophiolite. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's how ophiolites are in place. They're not in place by, in general, they're not in place by some sort of back arc spreading, or back arc thrusting, and in, in a reverse direction, you know, or when the subduction is going this way. It's, it's subduction dipping away from the continent. Yeah. Well, as I say, I can show you those places in the modern world. Taiwan is one, and uh, uh, Indonesia, Australia is another. New Guinea. And there's a place where two arcs are colliding. Uh, the Sangihi and Hamahira arcs are colliding. That's in northern, north of Sulawesi. And on Mindanao, the collision has gone to completion, but it's still, it's still going on. Yes. The yeah, question is, are those different from here? And the answer is yes. Ocean plate, ocean plate. But there could have been ocean plate, ocean plate things happening in this area here before it all arrived at the, at the continent of Mark. That's the thing. There's some sediments? Okay. Uh, it could be. Yeah. There, there are some sediments in here. Okay. Yeah. Have we found pillows yet? This is not looking very good. I have seen I have seen pillows along here. 
And I thought I saw them the other day when I drive around this. Back that way. Back that way. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a while.